While we were celebrating the new year, this house was on fire. People were smiling, people were laughing, people were jubilating on New Year Day. But this particular family are in sadness as they will never forget what happened on that day. A Facebook user who goes by the name Joseph Ezekiel Senufman took to his Facebook to share a very sad occurrence that happened to his family on 1st of January 2021. Mr. Ezekiel shared that the New Year Day will forever remain an unforgettable day in his family and he thanked God that no life was lost in the incident. He further attached three photos which captured their house that was completely burnt down that day. Meanwhile, other Facebook users sympathized with Mr. Joseph Ezekiel through their heartfelt comment. It is indeed a bad luck for their family and I pray that may God reward them abundantly what they have lost. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. My viewers. Um, please, I will say that wherever you are, I don't know. Please, I am not a man of God, but I am speaking as the spirit leads. I want to urge you while listening to this news or after listening to this broadcast, deem it fit to say a word of prayer. Deem it fit to say a word of prayer for this young man because I won't lie to you what's happened to this young man is something that in fact is more than a tragedy it's more than a tragedy do you understand so that is why I will crave your indulgence. How I will ask for your support in prayer for this family. Nobody is asking you to bless them with money, but a word of prayer can can help them gain back whatever they may have lost. Yes. And that is the only truth. That is the only thing that they need as we speak now. Because they have lost so much. So much. So please, show them some love by praying for them. Support them with your prayers. Help them. Because I know that when you pray for them, God in heaven will hear your prayers. And through your prayers, these people will be helped and assisted once again. And all that they have lost will be given back to them. Nobody pray for this kind of tragedy. Look at them. If you ask them... The night before the incident, how was the family? They will, tell, they will tell you that the family was in good shape. The family was jubilating. They were not, they were like waiting for the new year to 
to to to come everybody's eyes was wide open because i can remember too that i was just waiting checking the time over and over to see when the new year is when it's going to clock new year for me to to go on my knees and start thanking god since our the federal government have said that nobody should go home to go for the cross overnight i was just checking the time over and over and over i remember and i that's why i know that this family we are also like that, checking time, checking time to know when the new year will, 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 come, will come up. But, my dear, the devil is a bastard. He's a bastard. See what later befell this family. That's new year, that January, January 1st. That's year. This the first day of the new year that the family is supposed to be celebrating and jubilating for 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 seeing the new year. See what has before them. Hmm? <laughs> uh, my dear, anything that happens sometimes when things like this happens. Sometimes they end up becoming a blessing, but we don't know. Yeah, sometimes. I want to believe that this is a blessing. Because I know that God Almighty is going to favor them with a better apartment that is more than the one that they have just lost. God wants to help them do away with this old, old property. You understand? So that is just the reason. God is about to arrange a new apartment for them. So I crave their indulgence. I I I condole with the family through this broadcast. I reach out to the family through this broadcast. I plead to them to, to, to hold their peace and worry not. And do not cry further because Jesus is aware of what they have gone through. And he will surely, surely do something, do something concerning their situation. Because my God is not a wicked God. Do you understand? Is not a wicked God. He knows what to do and how to do it. Do you understand? So please and please, I, I still call on the family to still um, believe in God and hold on to God as you will remember them even at this tough time but if you are moved by the spirit my viewers still show them some hand of love financially because that is what god has said that this year is going to be that we all we receive a hand of love thank you for listening to this news please I would be grateful if you too can come in and air your opinion. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.